Hello everybody and welcome to Felt by Philippa. Today we're going to be making these um, multi-coloured or rainbow coloured needle felted garlands in beautiful shapes. So really really easy. Subscribe and like if you enjoy the video at the end. So first off you're going to need the colours, whatever colours you're going to use. You're going to need, we're going to do it in cookie cutters. So it's really easy. So I'm going to take a heart shaped cookie color, cutter first. Get your wool and just sort of pull it around a bit, mash it up a bit. It should be enough to fit into the ball of your hand and then start needle felting it into your cookie cutter. So uh, always try and do all the wool you're going to use in one go. And I'll show you a bit later on with the star why it's really important to do that. So it's, um, a, I, I gauge it as a bit of a handful and then you just push it in and needle felt it down. This is quite a big needle that I'm using, I think it's a 36. Um, so it's just a big rough needle and I just sort of force it down and force it in. And that's the first stage. Um, by the time you've finished it will be about half the size. So push it in, trying to get all the edges, the edges will be really important. And the more you needle felt it in the cookie cutter, the easier and the better it's going to look at the end. So there we go, just pushing it all the way in. And then I'm going to swap to the other needle, which is a bit of a finer needle. You can see it's all uh, bubbly and it's not very neat yet. So this is a finer needle, so I'm just going all through the middle and then working out. In all, doing any of these takes between 5 and 10 minutes, so it's a really fantastic easy thing to do. Uh, you can sit in front of the TV and do this as well. So there we, there we go, I've just sort of needle felted it a bit firmer in the middle and then we're going to go all around the edge. When it comes to turning it over, you might sort of have to peel it off and then in a minute I'll turn it over, do the other side, turn it back, do the other side again. If it falls out, you can just squidge it back in, pop it back in, keep needle felting. That's why it's such a fantastic project to do. And my, 13 year old daughter loves it because she says she her fingers feel safe she doesn't feel that she's going to hurt her fingers so when you pop it out just neaten up the edges a bit now with the star I am just going to show you at the beginning it's quite hard to get it right into the edges now it's really important if you don't do the wool all in one go and you try and add a bit more after I'll show you in a minute you'll get quite a bad join so here I am, I'm pulling it down into the corners as I go to try and get the point of the star. And like I said, it's, it's enough wool for it to be just a bit tricky to get it all in and poking in. So these two here, you can see the joins where I added extra. So lesson learned, try and do all the wool in one go. I mean, you can neaten it up afterwards if you want, but it means you're gonna have to spend a lot longer adding more wool to the sides. So there we go, you really have to sort of peel it off to keep it in and then do the other side. And then pop it out and it looks a lot better, not having added stuff. And then with the star, I think it helps if you do just um, go around where the points go in and it looks quite sweet afterwards. You could probably actually turn it into a bit of a flower. Look at that, it's quite nice. So. This is the ball shape. So you take a bundle of wool. It wasn't quite big enough, so I added a bit more. And you want it to be sort of a third bigger than you want the ball to end up as. And you just keep needle felting in, rolling, needle felting, rolling, needle felting. If you keep rolling it around, you will needle felt it quite evenly. See, I've got quite a way to go there. I'm actually holding it with another needle here because I don't like wearing finger protectors because I can't feel the wool. So still keep going a little bit smaller. And again, this didn't take longer than five to 10 minutes. So they're very easy to do these balls. You can do them wet felted, but you have to wait for them to dry for a couple of days. So I prefer to do them like this. So just keep rolling and eventually it'll get to the right size and when you're happy at the end just put it in your hands and give it a roll and it looks lovely. So there they all are in the bowl and now we're going to thread them on to, I've just used a bit of embroidery thread. Use something quite thin because if you use sort of a thicker cord it's harder to pull through. So I just took a needle with a big eye 
and you just start feeding them on. The balls are easy, they're straight through the middle. The stars are a bit harder, you have to go from one point to the other that's level. Uh, you'll see in a minute when I do them which is correct. It took me a couple of times, times to realise which one would make them look straight. So the balls look lovely, it'd be great if you could do loads of them. So when you do the stars you are going to have to squish them a bit to get the needle all the way through. So you go from one point to the one, the other side which is level with it and then you'll have a point sticking up at the top and they'll look really good when they're all together. By the way, the colours of the rainbow are completely up to you um, and what, how many you want and what you want. Like I said, if you had um, a lounge in certain colours or the dining room in certain colours, doing these garlands in the colours of the lounge and the dining room, they would look really nice. So this is a really versatile project. And the hearts is just across from one side to the other, so they're really, really easy. I do know I've missed out a green on one of the stars. I ran out of the dark green, so my 13-year-old daughter pointed it out to me, so sorry about that. So here we go, nearly finished. Beautiful little project. There we are, they're so super, so versatile, easy to do, cookie cutters, you can just do anything you want. So don't forget to subscribe and like if you want to see more videos and thanks for watching.